Hi everyone, Andy here, and in this video we're going to do a quick overview of Soho Flow. Soho Flow is a connector that allows you to connect apps so they can talk to each other and share data. All right, let's get started. When you log into Soho Flow, you start on your dashboard. In here, you're going to find all your workflows, as well as the execution count, and other panels like the recent executions and the top five flows. For the execution count panel, you can change the date range clicking here and then selecting the range. And if you hover over any of the columns, you can see the execution count by day. On the left, you can find a menu that you can use to navigate to the other sections. Now we're going to go to My Flows, and in this tab, you're going to be able to find all your workflows. To search for any of the flows, you can use the search bar. So just click there and start typing, and it will show the results right away. You can also filter flows using this menu. If you hover over any flow, you're going to be able to see these new options that you can use to delete the flow or to make a copy of the flow. Also, you can turn on and off the flow using this button right here. All right, let's create a new flow. For that, we're going to click here where it says create flow. And now we're going to name it. And if you want, you can add a description here and then click on create. Now we're going to click on configure here next to apps. And then we're going to search for Google Sheets. So we have right here and just click on it and click on next. And now we're going to choose the trigger. So I want to execute this workflow every time a new row is added to this spreadsheet. So I'm going to click on the first one and then next. And now we're going to select the connection. So in this case, I'm going to use this one right here. And now we're going to select the spreadsheet. So I'm going to use this contact spreadsheet. And for the worksheet, I'm going to leave it like that. And I'll click on done. So here we have our trigger. And what we want to do next is create a contact in Zoho CRM. For that, I'm going to use the search bar here to search for Zoho CRM. And now I'm going to click on this arrow and it's going to show me all the actions available. So for this example, the one that I'm looking for is this one right here, create or update contact. So I'm just going to drag and drop it. And now I'm going to choose the CRM connection that I previously added. And now we're going to map all the different fields in the CRM with the fields in the spreadsheet. So first name in the CRM, I have it right here and it is name. So just click on the field and then click on name. And that's going to map this name field to the contact first name in the CRM. Now we're going to do last name. And we're going to click here and then we're going to do email and we have it here as well. And then we're going to do phone that we have here as well. All right. So we already mapped all the fields that we need and now we're going to click on done. And that's it. We created a workflow. Now, the only thing that we need to do is just turn it on right here. And that's it. Every time we add a new row to that spreadsheet it's going to create a new contact in Solo Zero. Now when I exit this and I'm going to show you some other things. When you open a flow, you can see the flow dashboard that is going to show information about that flow only. Here you can change the name or add a description as well as seeing the executions and all the connections involved. Then in the builder tab, you're going to be able to see the flow and you're going to come here if you need to modify the flow or make any changes. And finally, we have the history tab where you're going to be able to see all the times that the flow was executed. And if you click on any of the executions, you will see a detailed view of what happened with that execution. All right, we're going to close this panel and this one as well. And the last thing I want to show you is the settings. Here you can see the organization profile. And then this tab is the history where you can see all the times that the flows were executed. Now this tab is the connections tab where you're going to be able to see all the connections that you have on right now, including connections of other users. And if you would like to add a connection, you can do it here as well. Then we have members, audit trail, where you can see any changes made to any flows. And finally, we have support access, where you can allow Zoho support to access your Zoho flow account. And then here in the top, we have the explore gallery button that if we click on it, we can see a lot of feature flows that were created by Zoho flow. So you need to create it if it is already here. And you can also search for any apps. So for example, QuickBooks, and if you click on it, you're going to be able to see feature flows as well as the triggers and actions of that app. So in this case, QuickBooks has a lot of different triggers and a lot of different actions. 
And the last thing I wanted to show you is the pricing. So the standard version costs $12 per organization per month, and you can have as many users as you want. And it comes with 1000 tasks per month. And then you have the professional version that costs $30 per organization per month. And it comes with 3000 tasks. But if you need more tasks a month, you can see here that you have some add-ons. And for example, another 5000 tasks per month costs $17. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please leave a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.